Alright YouTubers, got an excellent garden update for you today. We're going to start here with our tomatoes. And what we've got here are tomatoes that are in full bloom. Everything is just starting to bloom and bloom and bloom, which is wonderful. we got cherry tomatoes growing, quite a few of them there that you can see. But what is fantastic is that we just have everything everywhere is flowers. For those of you who do not know, the way that it works is each one of these little flowers, when pollinated, becomes a tomato. Just like those nice plump ones that we're starting to get. And you can see there are just flowers everywhere. And we are still really pretty early in the season, which means hopefully we will start having some really nice looking tomatoes. You can see here, you've got all these nice little rows of tomatoes right there. I got my second trellis uh, wire up. We're doing really well as far as that goes. And I've also stuck in a whole bunch of marigolds, basil. I got some basil you can see back there. Those little guys are basil. And right up here are some morning glories. That's the little leaf that looks like a butterfly. And those will climb up those poles. But what is really exciting here is if you take a look at these cucumbers, you can actually see some lovely flowers in there. Those flowers are gonna hopefully be little baby cucumbers. They've been blooming for a couple of days. So that is very exciting. Um, over here with our okra, the big okra update is that we're starting to have these little spindly things that look like they might turn into flowers and that will hopefully become little okra. There you go. And right here we've got some marigolds coming up. But almost most exciting for me is that we have our first little pepper. It's a little pepper, for sure. Uh, it's going to be a mini red bell pepper. Uh, the peppers have been flowering like crazy, but not many have been setting fruit. So I've had all these nice little white flowers, but I think it's actually just been a little bit too cool for them. So although I've had flowers like this all over the place, only one little pepper so far. At night, I guess it's got to be just a little bit warmer. Here is our broccoli. Broccoli is turned into just a jungle of broccoli. Uh, these leaves are absolutely enormous. It doesn't just look that way. They really are huge. Uh, they're probably about twice or three times as big as my hand. And uh, radishes are doing great down there. They're going to be ready to come up soon. Um, we've been eating a bunch of this lettuce. That red romaine lettuce. And I planted a little more lettuce. Carrots are coming up. That's how the beets are looking. And last but not least, that watermelon and the cantaloupe. So that's pretty much the scoop there. I'm going to turn this off and I'll bring you over and let you see the asparagus. Before I head over to the asparagus, I'm going to show you I've got some squash planted here. And then some basil. The basil just smells absolutely terrific. Here's some cilantro. And then some mint. We put most of the herbs in pots because a lot of them are going to grow like crazy and if you don't contain them they will contain everything else <laughs> so there's a quick look and then I'll head over to the asparagus and onion bed so here we are with the onion bed onions are looking good nothing too crazy exciting about them but what is really kind of fun and exciting is what's right next to the onions see those little flowers or little leaves poking up those are sunflowers so hopefully I'll have a nice little row of sunflowers here the birds will very happily eat our bird feeder is right behind me and then over here, we are starting to have a whole bunch of asparagus starting to make its little ferns, fronds, I don't know what they're called. But it makes me very happy because I like asparagus, so this hopefully means that in a year or two, we're going to have plenty of asparagus to be thrown on the grill. And last but not least, I'm actually going to give you a shot of the front of our house, and that's because all that compost that went away back there all is now here. We used it to top dress our front beds, and then we planted a bunch of things in here. The, our little evergreens are getting better. They were pretty wind burned. That's why they're all brown, but they're coming through it. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of plants that we put in here that are hopefully gonna really look nice. I'll give you a quick, quick tour of that. These are hyacinth that we've got in here in the beds, along with some seeds starting to come up, just some annual flowers. And 
then we've got a whole bunch of uh, annuals that we put in today. Just looking nice. This was a labor of love top dressing this because it was covered with granite stones. <laughs> so my wife and I painstakingly pulled up all of the granite stones. Let's see, we've got some really nice, this is actually a perennial that'll come back. This is one of my wife's favorites. It's a bells, something, holly bells. I always forget what it's called. But then just some cute little annuals just to keep it bright and fresh. And then a nice salvia back here, which I think is really pretty. And we've got one more over here. These are some native plants that we put in this year to see how that goes. They're supposed to look pretty, but they've kind of just looked like that. <laughs> um, and we planted all this stuff in over here. But then this last guy I really like. This is some sort of a speed well. It's supposed to be very butterfly friendly, and since we like our pollinators here, we're gonna see what we can get to take care of them. So, I owe a big thanks to my wife who helped me scrape the granite stones out of here. There's a huge pile of them in the back right now. <laughs> but she agrees that it does, it is worth it because it does look much better already. So, hopefully we'll have some happy plants. All the best to everybody out there. Happy gardening.